Hello dear friends. I'm gonna share my other favorite Gujarati recipe, Kashmiri Pulau, hope you guys like it. East or West, my grandmom's Kashmiri Pulau is the best. How to make instant. Kashmiri Pulau, taste, mild sweet and savory. The following ingredients we'll use for this delicious food, let's get started, Kashmiri cuisine has many rich and flavorful dishes that are simple yet different. In this traditional rice dish, basmati rice are first sautéed in butter laced spices, cooked in saffron flavored water and then mixed with shallow fried dry fruits, freshly cut fruits and fried onion. This step-by-step -step photo recipe of Kashmiri pulau uses pomegranate, grape, apple and pineapple and shallow fried cashew nuts and almonds for crispness and crunch in every spoon. Try this easy Kashmiri pulau recipe to turn any occasion into a special occasion with its delectable aroma and richness. The ingredients, 1 half cup basmati rice, long grained rice, 4 to 5 saffron strands, 1 tablespoon milk, warm, 5 to 6 cashew nuts, roughly chopped 5 to 6 almonds, roughly chopped 1 small piece of bay leaf, 2 cloves, 1 green cardamom, 2 inch piece of cinnamon stick, 1 green chili, silt lengthwise, 1 half teaspoon grated ginger, 1 quarter teaspoon fennel seed powder, 1 onion, thinly sliced, 1 quarter cup chopped apple, 1 quarter cup pomegranate seeds, 1 quarter cup grapes, seedless, optional salt, to taste 2 tablespoons ghee or oil oil for frying the onion 1 cup water 1 rinse basmati rice in water for 2 to 3 times and then soak them in water for 15 minutes drain water and keep rice aside 2 dissolve saffron strands in 1 tablespoon warm milk 3 heat 1 tablespoon ghee in a deep pan over medium flame add almonds and cashew nuts and shallow fry them until light golden brown transfer them to a plate 4. Add remaining 1 tablespoon ghee in the same pan and add bay leaf, cloves, green cardamom and cinnamon stick. Sauté for 30 seconds. Add green chili, grated ginger and fennel seed powder and sauté for another 30 seconds. 5. Add soaked and drained rice. 6. Sauté for 1 to 2 minutes. 7. Add 1 cup water, dissolved saffron and salt. Mix well and bring it to boil over medium flame. 8. When it starts to boil, reduce flame to low and cook covered for 8 to 10 minutes or until rice is fully cooked. Do not open the lid or stir in between. When rice is cooked, turn off flame and let it stand for 5 to 7 minutes. Open the lid and fluff the rice with a fork. 9. Meanwhile, heat 3 to 4 tablespoons oil in another pan to shallow fry the onion. Onion slices should be evenly cut so that it cooks perfectly, separate each onion slice with hand and then add them in oil and shallow fry until it turns brown. Stir frequently in between to cook them evenly. 10. Add shallow fried dry fruits, fresh fruits, apple, grapes and pomegranate seeds, and shallow fried onion over cooked rice. 11. Mix gently and cook for 2 to 3 minutes. Turn off the flame and transfer it to serving bowl. Garnish with coriander leaves. Tips and variations. Add fresh fruits of your choice like pineapple, green grapes etc. Add dry fruits like raisins and walnuts for variation. Different brands of basmati rice require different amount of water to cook. Refer to the instructions given on backside of a rice packet and adjust water quantity accordingly. To make the onion brown and crispy, deep fry them in oil instead of shallow frying. Serving ideas, serve Kashmiri pulao with cucumber raita or dum aloo or any of your favorite curry with gravy in lunch. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell button for future videos update, give comments for any suggestion. CYA, take care.